Hey, what is going on YouTube? As promised, I am going to add these two 500 gigabyte uh, SSDs onto an enclosure to create RAID 0 to speed up my performance. So, as you can see on here, this is a Samsung uh, 840 Evo. It's 500 gigabytes. Um, this one I can't really show you because this is an enclosure uh, to the M SATA that I had on here. Um, it is exactly 500 gigabytes. It is also from Samsung as well too. So it's definitely gonna be a perfect match. Uh, also the speeds of these, uh, of both the M SATA and, and this one are very similar. So I'm hoping to double that, which I could possibly be getting uh, 70 megabytes per second of uh, transfer speed which is something that I really look forward to. I hope that this device can handle it. Um, this is an enclosure with two SATA ports um, and it is USB-C Gen 2. So that's something I'm gonna be testing out. Um, now I had one like this, but it was just USB 3.0 specs and that's definitely not gonna fly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this apart um, and I'm gonna be inserting the hard drives on here. Now I have checked the life of both hard drives and they still, I think they're at 99%. Definitely good. Um, something I'm not really uh, worried about, which is a good thing. Um, this one felt very solid, maybe because it is a brand new hard drive. So they're about the exact same size, really. Um, and what I gotta do is screw them down, make sure they don't move with bag of screws that came with the enclosure. And we'll get it hooked up, connected. All right, and here's the finished product. Uh, now, one thing is that um, the other one that I had, uh, the one that was USB 3.0, had rubber uh, mounts on here and made it feel very premium. This one has nothing, very smooth around, which in some instances it's a great thing but not in this case especially if it's going to be right next to your computer you know possibly move around but uh, that's something that you can probably invest in and uh, maybe you know add those up um, but you know one thing it does have that you have to do is connect the power adapter um, or it comes with the USB power adapter and I have no idea this is something that maybe um, I'll try on my own or you know maybe we can try in this video but um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it and uh, let's take a look at it. All right, so I went ahead and got the hard drives all squared away here. And as you can see, they're currently running because I am running the disk beep test, but I'll show you that here in a second. Um, now I did configure them to RAID 0, both of them. Uh, they're both exactly 500 gigabytes, um, which will then in turn it into a one terabyte hard drive. Uh, running at RAID 0 so um, I did that and I plugged it in by accident to the USB 3.0 and I was getting USB 3.0 specs which was very disappointing but not as disappointing as what I'm about to show you here uh, the cable that I'm that I have it on is an actual Thunderbolt 3 cable um, which is capable of 40 gigabytes per second or gigabits per second um, I, don't, I don't know which one I'm saying right, but uh, you get my, you, you get what I'm saying. Uh, 40 gigabytes, so I thought this was gonna fix the issue, and it slightly did, but not as much as where I wanted it to be. So it is currently running that Thunderbolt 3 cable, and as you can see here, what I'm about to show you um, is definitely not what I expected, especially for a hard drive that is about 390 megabytes per second right and 400 low very low like 400 almost even of read speeds and as you can see on here there we go the write speeds are 421 megabytes a second of write and the read speeds are really identical to it. Um, as you can see on there, 423 of read. So, very, very disappointed. Um, 
And what I can say is, uh, they're not. I wouldn't say they're the hard drives themselves because both the hard drives have the uh, exact same performance um, that I just mentioned earlier, and I was expecting it to read upwards of 700, maybe 800 read, and I was hoping to get somewhere in the realm of. 750 write speeds and unfortunately I'm not getting any of that. Again, I am running a certified Thunderbolt 3 cable and I'm running it to Thunderbolt 3 connection in the back. This is a 2017 iMac um, and it comes with two Thunderbolt 3 ports. Um, so I connected it to one of them. Uh, I'm not getting uh, the results that I was looking for. Um, so I'm very, very disappointed. They are fast, but is it worth it to have two 500 gigabyte SSDs uh, into RAID 0? Mm, no, I would say no because you have to have a power adapter for this enclosure to work. Um, so I'm disappointed. Uh, I will be removing the hard drives from the enclosure. I'll be setting up regular one terabyte, uh, you know, one terabyte hard drives and uh, be getting speeds of about 250 write and about 220 read, uh, which is you know sufficient. So I'll be doing that. Again, I'm disappointed. It's not the results I wanted, uh, especially on a USB-C uh, enclosure. But there you have it, folks. That is everything on the, I believe it's called the Hornet Tech uh, Titan enclosure. Uh, and uh, I hope I would have given you better results, but unfortunately this is the best I can do uh, on what this device can provide. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them on the comments down below. I uh, appreciate you guys watching this video, and please give it a thumbs up uh, and, uh, and subscribe to the channel, which I'll be making you know, little videos like this, and hopefully they help you out on you know everyday questions. You take care.